Welcome aboard the Celtic Explorer, one of Ireland's national research vessels. This video will take you on a brief journey to explore the dark reaches of our underwater territory. Our main exploration vehicle is the ROV Holland 1. It is a remotely operated vehicle, an unmanned underwater robot which can dive as deep as 3,000 meters while being controlled by the team in the control room on board the ship. The Holland One is an impressive piece of equipment. It stands over two meters high and is equipped with cameras, lasers, robotic arms and sampling equipment. It's connected to the ship at all times by a long fiber optic cable. It takes great teamwork and skill to deploy and operate the ROV. During a dive, the scientists and engineers must work together to control the ROV's thrusters, camera, robotic arms, and sampling equipment. You could think of it as driving a remote control car with different people controlling each wheel and doing it all from three kilometers away. As we explore the depths, marine scientists around the world discover about 2,000 new species every year and we suspect that there are still many more yet to be encountered. Over the last few years, scientists on board the Celtic Explorer have used the Holland One to capture amazing video of deep sea life in the waters around Ireland. Until recently, it was assumed that our waters were too cold to host deep water corals. But during an expedition to explore an underwater canyon, the ROV team stumbled across an entirely new discovery, huge cliff faces teeming with life. 1,600 meters below the surface, corals have colonized these cliff faces, catching food particles from the passing currents. Since then, we've discovered more sites, home to these and many other amazing animals, some of which are even being tested as sources of new medical drugs by researchers. Corals are colonies of thousands of little animals, known as polyps, which all work together. Although each polyp has a different function, they're all genetically identical. There are many strange-looking fish down here too. This angler fish hunts by waving a fleshy lure over its head to attract prey. On the left is a chimera. They have characteristics of both bony and cartilaginous fish, which makes them very unusual. Because things underwater can appear quite distorted, the ROV is equipped with two lasers for measuring. The lasers are 10 centimeters apart and can be used to gauge the size of objects or animals. Can you see the two red dots on this huge sea spider? Those are the lasers. That means that the leg span of this sea spider is about 60 centimeters across. One of the most exciting discoveries was made while using the ROV to explore a cold water coral reef. At 750 meters deep, just 200 miles off the west coast, the team came across a huge area of seabed, which was covered with shark egg cases. There were so many sharks and egg cases that it's been dubbed the shark nursery. Scientists believe that the coral reef makes a great nursery habitat for shark pups once they've hatched. In the ocean's depths where food is scarce, nothing is wasted and the circle of life is completed. An extra bonus to this special discovery was that among the thousands of blackmouth cat sharks, the team also spotted this rare sailfin rough shark. Mm -hmm. 
As well as recording video of life beneath the surface, the ROV is used to collect samples from the ocean's depths. These can be in the form of sediment samples, which tell us the makeup of the seabed. They can be unknown animals, rocks, or anything else which the scientists think are relevant to the expedition. As you can see, it's much more difficult to gauge depth of field with only one point of view. Unlike two human eyes, which together give us depth perception, the ROV operator has to rely on experience to be able to move the arm and grab the sampling container. Don't forget, this is all happening in moving water up to three kilometers away from where the operator is sitting. Here the team are taking a sample of the sediment on the seabed. These tell scientists what type of animals and microorganisms live in the area, which minerals and chemicals are present, including pollutants, and important geological data about the area where they're taken. Now the ROV is carefully sampling this animal. We think it's a sea pen, a type of soft coral. Unfortunately, man-made waste has even made its way to the bottom of the deep ocean, tarnishing what should be an untouched landscape. Another element of exploring our oceans is locating, mapping and visualizing shipwrecks. And this is an integral part of Ireland's seabed mapping program, known as Infomar. We believe that there are over 15,000 shipwrecks in Irish waters. So far, the team have managed to map over 300 of these. And the information gathered is used to produce navigational charts to inform state archaeologists, divers and others who are interested in what lies beneath our seas. Navigating the ROV around a shipwreck can be dangerous and requires a lot of skill to ensure the cable doesn't get snagged on the wreckage. Exploring shipwrecks like this one can also tell us a lot about how an ecosystem becomes established. Things like which animals colonize the wreck first. Deep sea shipwrecks are considered artificial reefs because they provide safe hiding places and nursery areas for some fish and other animals, becoming hotspots for biodiversity. With high numbers of fish living in and around a wreck, it can become a very tempting spot for fishing. But you can see that it also presents a risk to the fishing vessel. Nets can get snagged on parts of the wreck and have to be cut away by the fishermen. Unfortunately, these remain a danger to marine life which can still become caught by these ghost nets. This shipwreck is just three kilometers off the coast of Cork in about 150 meters of water. 
We're not sure of its identity yet, but from its shape, length, and what appears to be munitions shell casings, we believe it to be a military ship. Working on board a survey ship is very different to working on land. Because it costs tens of thousands of euros per day to run a vessel like the Explorer, ship time is too expensive to waste. So the crew and research staff plan the work to run 24 hours a day. Even working around the clock, the Explorer is at sea almost every week of the year. Exploring the world's oceans is an important job. The ocean is the life support system for planet Earth. But we know more about the surface of the moon than we do about what lies beneath our waves. To find out more about the wild Atlantic and what lies beneath, go to www.marine.ie.